Okay, today we're going to do something a little different. Siddhananda's here, and we are going to do the pendulum and uh, connect with Christ and just see there are a lot of questions that people have had. <clears throat> and so we're going to connect with that energy and see what comes through. I have a few questions I want to ask that have to do with today's uh, religions and climb, etc., of what's going on. So let's see if we can connect with that Christ energy and see what Yeshua ben Joseph has to say today. All right. I prefer to use Yeshua ben Joseph, what his name was actually. Yeah. He wasn't known by Jesus, okay? <laughs> Right. right. And so we have an image. Do you want me to show them the image? It's fine. Yeah, we have an image so of Christ. So this is the image we're using on the phone, and then I'm using the pendulum, and it just connects in with the image. Okay? So. Okay, so right away, the um, pendulum is making the sign of a cross. Holy man, okay. Um, holy man with his mind uh, still will speak. Yeah, with a still mind. He speaks yeah. with a stilled mind. With his mind still will speak. It's still, yeah, quiet. Okay. Yeah, of course, he's going to be a realized master. <laughs> I mean, it goes without saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Actually, <laughs> I mean, really, if we, I mean, we were hello? saying he's in, you know, all this mental stuff, we'd wonder what we're connecting with here. But that is what is being said so far, which is a good start. Which is an excellent start. So, yeah. Okay. So speak what you have to say. Oh, well, go ahead and ask what you, you wanted to ask. You wanted to ask something. Oh, Somebody okay. was asking a couple of questions, and there then were, we'll go ahead and go. Yeah, I'm just, I don't have, I actually wrote those down. I'm trying to remember. So someone was asking about the Bible, and yeah. what are the heart of the teachings in the Bible, really? It, yeah, what, how much of the Bible is maybe accurate? Okay. Yeah. Um. So let's start with accuracy of the Bible. The accuracy okay. of the Bible. Because we know, you know, a lot of people contributed and wrote a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> so let's see what we have for the accuracy of what is stated in okay. there. So with the Bible, the writing in there, I can see the Bible open, the passages there, some of them in red, some in black. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, Words speak of heart in the life of um, crucifixion and the resurrection and what that is about um, in the heart of the, I want to say mystic, or the heart of the one that moves in the, that direction, uh, where to go to with the right... Um, the right ways of behaving, the right ways of, you know, living. But um, in, in terms of accuracy, let's see. So we've got a plus, I see, and we've got a negative. Right. So we're looking at some are true, true speaking of biblical time, while others have a taint of other hands on it. Yeah. You know, with... Um, with their pen or with their voice, they spoke um, ways that were not completely in alignment with um, the heart of the message of the Bible. Some right. of that is in there in this writing. Okay. Right, so, the heart of the teachings. Yeah, so some of it. So we're looking at a plus, we're looking at a negative in there. Okay, so we've got both, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, okay, so okay, so in terms of the heart of the message, let's look on the plus side of the, the things yeah, that let's resonate look at the plus. of the, what's truly in alignment with right. Christ's teachings, what's in the heart of it. Let's look on the plus side, okay? So we will say, what is in the heart of those teachings? So let's open that book. And I do see, 
like the heart or that space, that spaciousness in the heart, then there is um, an opening like doors or book. Okay, so we're opening into the heart of this holy book or message or way that someone walked in the truth, you know, is what's resonating. We're looking at that life and that feeling. And so the heart of it is to be, um, be settled. Be, um, you know, I see a snake, I see a serpent, you know, it's um, fire, it's fire, uh, serpent and fire. Okay. See um, a serpent and fire, and he's saying, be still, be settled. Yes. So I think it comes back to his message of fear not, not to have fear and to. Yeah, so that's there with you. See that fire, you see a book by it it's like that needs to be lived and enlivened in you you right. know versus it just coming from rather than using book. him as somebody to just cling to yes. as an outside thing that's well right. that was his that's message right. if you believe in me follow me which means that's you have exactly to put right. it into motion rather than just saying oh i believe in you so now save me if i just take you know yeah. baptism so how much is baptism actually needed? Okay. The, a physical, the, the ritual of baptism, of being dunked in the water and all of that. Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. We've got this We'll get image. to the nitty gritty so, here. Um, baptism, <laughs> is it a requirement for purification, say? Was yeah, so they, it? well, is, is baptism a requirement for being saved, quote for unquote? Being saved. Quote unquote. Very good. Very quote good. unquote, saved. Being saved. No. Exactly. No. No. no, no Baptism no. is more of a thing of a state of mind yes. to saying I'm surrendered into that death before death and I'm renewing my life. I'm ending the old way. See if that's correct. I'm ending the old dynamic and I'm going to be reborn into a new ideation, a new consciousness to follow these teachings. So you see the yes. It's very heavy yes. You know, yeah. um, and because a lot of people do these things out of fear, too, or they exactly. do it out of um, thinking if they just go through those motions, it's all going to be fine without right. really, you know, really moving in that direction in their heart. So let's see, would the heart, if one moved in the direction of doing it in the heart and not take baptism, is there something that means this isn't as... Um, Effective, effective or effective? Does yeah. this, is this what this means? And you can see a heavy. There's a heavy weight to this. There's a no. Is this um, like primary over the other? If it's in their heart, you know, is this what matters? You could see a yes. Okay, you could see a yes. Yeah, because you know what's the important thing is to follow God with all of your heart. It's not the outward leaning. If they've never heard of Christ, doesn't mean they're going to hell. Okay, ask that. Uh -huh. If they've never heard of Christ, and yet they're following the teachings of God, they're following that life of doing unto others and doing the things of the Spirit, are they still saved, quote unquote, saved? Point, yes, they are indeed. In fact, they're, a, you know, I, I'm feeling they're like a, a child of God, or they're a, a heart of God, you know, right. they're a flower of God, you know, and it, because they're living it, and that's what that fire is by the by the holy book, that fire where you, that life has to come. Right, through. it's like that when you set the fire, it just hit that uh, that you have to be refined in the fire. So it's spoken of in the Old Testament. Kids, check with that that you have to go through the refinement you have to go through the walk yourself you have to in order to know God you have to go through that walk and refining process within yourself so there's a yes and I really at least you know when you hit on that when you say it has to be enlivened and you it comes from the heart these things is this the heart of the message here okay so one can see yes so it's not the outer you know, it's not all those... Um... Right, it's not that clinging to that thing. So let's go into uh, <laughs> some of the ones I want to check on today. Uh, what message would Christ have for those churches that are teaching prosperity? Prosperity 
preachers. Right, right. And what are? How does that? Tell me a little bit more. Give put a little more energy out about the prosperity. Okay, teachers. you have preachers that are saying, you know, if you give your tithe, you send money to me, you're going to get ten times more. Okay. That you're there to be prosperous, you know. Got you. And this is the message, and I think the message has replaced the genuine message of surrender into God. It's more about this ego affirming and I'm going to get this money. I'm going to, you know, right, so right, check and see what, okay, so what is said on that. Prosperity preachers. Um, are they in alignment with your teachings? Are they in alignment with the heart, you know, of the this feeling that's coming now? Okay, so we're looking, we're seeing a skewing. Okay, it's skewed. Right. It, it, this is my skewing here, okay? Um, it's skewed in that thinking. This is incorrect. This is not lined up, let's put it that way, with Christ's true message. This is, and I do see some money. This is more about uh, accumulation of external things. Right. What I see it as, and we can go ahead and keep checking with him mm -hmm. with this. What I see is like when he went into the money changers and threw the money changer tables over and said, you made this a den of thieves and this should be a house of prayer. Right. I, I see it in conjunction with that. that. Is that correct or wrong? Okay, there's a very heavy feeling to it now, and there is a yes to this. It's heavy, it's substantial feeling. Yeah, this, these are not following the teachings of Christ. You know, for me, they feel like the sheep's and wolves closing. That these are, ask him if these are, in fact, and the feeling I got today, that the uh, preachers and things overall today are really more under the the energy of an antichrist rather than the Christ. Mm. Ask him if that's true. Is this true? What Guruji said, is this correct? Are they more under the teachings and the feelings of an antichrist rather than the teachings that you were trying mm. to impart when you were here? Okay, so we get a small skewed and then we get a turning, yes, and then we get a um, and then we get some no. So we've got a variation of things in there. Okay. okay. Well, not all of them can be lumped into well, one I think thing. That's I think what it the needs to be is. a specific. But I'm talking about the overall energy of these prosperity teachings. And what is the other one? Oh, these ones that are. What about these uh, evangelicals that will put Trump up on a pedestal? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with all the negative things that he is doing is that being did did god in fact put him in his place where he's at now oh, put trump yeah. in his place yeah. Where he's at. yeah they say that they they say yeah that? trump's there by god's did hand god put trump president trump as a in. way to you know that he is something to follow okay follower and then oh if the, yeah, if he's something to be is followed. Is true what Guruji said? Is did God put this man that we have in office now in place as someone? No. No. No, not at all. Of course not. Not at all. It, yeah, no, no. Trump is not something to be worshipped. And this is a problem. The evangelicals say, oh, no, God put him there. He's there for a benefit. No, if anything else, and check with this, we see that he is there just to show what needs to be changed. That he is a dark, a dark, dark that. energy. Is, is he this, there this to true. show what needs to be changed? Okay, you see just a stilling. It's, it's actually got a trembling. You can see it tremble. Yeah. Okay, it's got a trembling. It's got a... Mm, mm, it's kind of not... Uh, you know, again, it's moving. Okay, so there's a... At least it looks like it's making a cross, okay? Yeah. It's, it's like making a cross. His holiness is not, wait, okay, put in there. So holiness is not in place right now within right. that Congress, I guess. Is the yeah, feeling. there's no holiness there. He's of the dark energy. He is a dark energy. You know, he's not put there. You know, if anything, the only thing we can learn from that is what, how dark the things are and what needs to be changed. But it's not somebody you put up on a pedestal and say, oh, he's there by God's hands. He's, he's fabulous. He's wonderful. Okay. 
No. So, as far as, um, how do I want to word this? The evangelicals and these ones that are supposed to be uh, Christians, quote unquote Christians, if they are going to occur karma by their actions, by following the, the ones these, that are outwardly saying they're all this, but inside, inside their yeah. behaviors do yeah. not they're, match. They're, when their behaviors are not matching with the teachings of Christ. Yes. So do they have karma? Do they have karma? Okay. Do they have karma? Is there karma for Christians that... Yes, they do. Yes, yeah. there is. Yeah. 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 Karma is in place. You can see it getting bigger, too. As yeah, big karma. Actually, it's getting you know this bigger. idea that you know uh, so. you know you can be a Christian saying saying you're a Christian, but if you're not following the dictates of Christ, forget it. You're going to have karma, and that's got to be paid. Okay, okay. I have another question: Is a hell realm waiting for these priests that have been pedophiles? Is what G said true? Is this the truth? Is a hell realm priests? waiting for these priests that have been pedophiles? Okay, so you can see how it ma it makes a cross, which is interesting. It's making a cross and then it's sinking down. Like, okay, they dishonored their exactly. the cross. They dishonored. They're dishonoring. They are not standing in the place of Christ. You cannot go to somebody like that for absolution. Right. You know, they have this idea. I can do. You know, I can be a pedophile, and all I have to do on my deathbed is ask for forgiveness, and it'll all go away. Okay? Not going to happen. Right. So ask about that, that deathbed ideation of the deathbed. If all your sins are forgiven because at the last minute you say, well, I want to be forgiven. Right, no matter, it doesn't matter what you did in life, yeah, and all yeah. of a sudden you just say, okay, if, I'm if going I get and the I'll priest be there, forgiven. If right. I get the priest there, and I give my confession, and I ask for my sins to be forgiven, are they going to be forgiven? Right, so let's see how, the, if, is, does it work that way? Is this <laughs> exactly, works? it doesn't work, no. Okay, but doesn't. let's see, um, okay, so you can see, no, it's not. Uh, no, it's how you live your it's life. It's not how that is. Yeah, yeah, it's a big no. <laughs> A that's big no. That's probably one of the bigger okay. no's we've seen today. Exactly. With this so far. You and this is what I've no. said about these followers of Nichinanda and stuff that think they're they're supporting their guru and so everything is mitigated that they can just get out of it right. because, you know, because they have these fake ones telling, well, don't worry, you don't have any karma attached to this because you're doing it under my auspices and I'm standing here, you know, and that's not the way it is. That's not the way it is. Yeah. So, uh, oh, I have another one. Can you do a mantra to negate karma? This is another one. They think if they do a mantra, it's going to get rid of their karma. Oh, so if they do it themselves, if they even do though a, they've been yeah. behaving this way, yeah. will it negate the karma? Will it negate the karma? That they've accrued yeah. from certain behaviors. Exactly. I see. Does this work? Very. It's very heavy. No, it does not. No, it does not. No. Okay, no. Yeah. You've got to rectify your actions. It's like like yeah. Christ was saying, you know, you need to repent. It means to be sorry for what you've done. You need to make reparations and you need to change that action. You need to change that whole mindset, that whole ideology. Okay? All of that needs to be changed. It's not just saying, oh, well, if I'm under the blood of Christ, I'm forgiven. Right. Okay, right. I'm forgiven. I'm a Christian, or I'm this, and I'm Christ. forgiven, or I can do a mantra, and I'm forgiven. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Okay, now let's ask about this ideology that they're having, and that was a question somebody had asked about the whole planet changing its consciousness immediately. Okay, like for just all of a sudden, is yeah. it going to just move in that direction? Big, yeah, is there going to be a big shift? Yeah. For future happenings, for the consciousness, conscious vibration, is this just going to change immediately on this planet? No. Yeah, no. Is it that everyone has to walk their own path and come into surrender, into the teachings of God, into that surrender, into that death before death? Is it a solitary journey 
for each consciousness. Okay, so you can see it as a yes. Yes. So it can't just happen without your personal efforts. You know, exactly. There's no way that that's going to happen. It's, it's also that it's said in there that it just came, and now let's see if it comes again, that um, faith, faith without works is dead. Right. Ask if that's true, if it's one that he taught. Faith without works is dead. Okay, this feels like it's going to really wind up. I could feel a winding, like it can probably go as big as you can probably make a pen. Exactly. Look at this. If you are actually Maybe. following it, then you will be doing <laughs> the right I? actions. Yeah. Okay? But you're not just going to get there by the right actions. If you are in that faith, if you have knowledge of God, then you have to, you know. And this is one, oh, this is what somebody said today. Well, you could be God realized. You could be in that consciousness and you could still commit wrongdoings. Doesn't mean wow. anything. You could still be in a court case. Wow. Would that be an actuality? For someone if, that was for, really for someone in that. that is really within God okay. consciousness, is that even possible? It, it doesn't. It just, no, it let's doesn't. Just see. I it mean, doesn't possible, come up. It no, doesn't come it up. Just, no, it's, in, it's an impossibility. It's not in your consciousness. It wouldn't even be there. Exactly. You would never do something yeah. to put another under mm -hmm. subjugation. Right. Not right. ever. Right. It doesn't come up in the consciousness. Okay. Is it true that when one reaches into that? Uh, point of that death before death and has seen basically what you call the face of God entered that spirit of God that the mind stills that there's a direct consciousness that happens okay. is that true on a Christian path as well okay this isn't going to go to no I can feel it pulling to this yes there's just you know, there's no barriers to it to say that it's this or that in terms of your religion. It's the same. It, it's right. Same. It has nothing to do with religious right. persuasion. When one enters, when it says when you've seen the face of God that you die, it means that that ego self is gone. It evaporates. It never was. The only thing that reality at that point is God. Ask if that's true. That the only reality one sees when they enter that death before death is God's spirit, God essence. Okay, so look at, see how it's stilled? Yeah. Immediately stilled. That's what happens. It's, it's again, that that's where the, the amazing stillness just came to Yes, that it. stillness. If you enter that stillness, that yeah. still point, mm -hmm. I call it zero... Would that be correct to call it like a zero point balance? A zero point balance of stilling yeah. that enters. You enter that, that's what's termed that peace, okay. peace that passes understanding. You have to be, go beyond the logical mind of understanding to enter that peace, the peace that passes understanding. It doesn't come through mental ideations. That peace comes from that still point, that still heart, that still spirit of God essence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right there, all being confirmed you by know, the energy. You know, it doesn't matter. And then I want to ask also, you know, religions have come out of somebody that has viewed that has viewed the reality, but they try to bring it back into their cultures. And unfortunately, what has happened, let's check and see if this mm -hmm. is right. What happens is there is a skewing by men in mental that are, have minds that are still going, that they try to make it into a list of do's and don'ts. Right, okay. so you've got this original, and then it gets, as people it try to interpret to get it in different dogmatic. things. It, 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 yeah. it, it, it skews it, it into, it, it skews that, perfect perfection mm -hmm. into a skewed don, dogmatic right. of do's and don'ts okay. and cultural ideations that they surround it with. Okay, so um, it's just kind of connecting when you say that, and then it's feeling like what's showing it, that it degrades it. Yeah, it degrades it, yeah. right, right. So you can have, it doesn't matter, you know, what is the external thing? Like Christ came to be a reformer of Judaism. Ask if that's correct. He came to be a reformer of Judaism. That's why he said he was the king of the Jews. He came in yes. that modality to be a reformer 
of the wrong ideations that they had going at that time through the Old Testament. See if that's correct. That he came to be a reformer. Yes. A reformer yes, of did. that of that religious persuasion. Although he could have come through any religious persuasion to be a reformer. And it would have been just as valid. Yes. Okay. So it's not a, yeah, this or that thing. It's exactly. not a label thing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So again, you know, Christians nowadays, so-called Christians, and he never came, let ask this. Did you come to make a separate religion called Christianity? Good point. Good question. Really yeah. Good did, question. You, did you come to make a separate religion called Christianity? Okay, that's a pretty decent no. Yeah, no. He was a reformer for Judaism. He was never supposed to be a religion. Okay? He is not a religion. Okay? He came to reform Judaism, but he didn't come and set himself up to be a religion, what they have tried to put around him, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is an enlightened being. I guess you would say he's like, an, uh, like what they would call in Hinduism as an avatar. I would say he is. So let's ask that. Would you be the equivalent of, of an avatar, what they call an avatar in Hinduism? This consciousness that he resides in, yeah, this, the this consciousness, being resides this being. in, yes, yes, and it's very heavy. It's very substantial. You can. It's see like that. that weighty with knowledge, yeah. like that energy that every you know that he is a fulfillment of that knowledge. Right. He is a fulfillment right. of that knowledge. That's right. When he came in the planet, he didn't go to study here and there. Oh, let's ask about that. Did he study that? This is another big one they have. That Christ was walking the earth and he studied Hinduism. They say that. Yeah. They're what you're, we're wondering about that. Did he yeah. study Yeah. Did Hinduism? you study? Did you study? Okay, so did you study other modalities when you were on the earth plane? Did you study? Did you have teachers? Okay. So let's see what's happening with this. Let me get in there a little more. No. Hmm. Mm. -mm. No. Nope. No, he was like a, what the Hinduism calls an avatar. He came in ingrained with that knowledge. He was already a perfected being For when sure. he came in to embodiment. So this ideation that he was wandering around and he studied under Hindu masters is false. Let's see. So is it false? What um, this statement that people put out is that false? Yes, it is. It is. Yes, false. he was not that. Okay, let's ask about the resurrection. Yeah. That was, that was question another that question that was a, that there. was coming yeah. in there. Um, we want to know about the resurrection. When you had this uh, surrender in the cross and you spent the three days, when you came out, did it resurrect the physical body? Was there a physical body resurrection? Um, okay. Physical body resurrect. Yes. Yes. So there was a full body resurrection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, it says that you had left there and they had seen you. And then did you live the rest of a normal life? Or did you, in fact, go up on the hill and translate and leave, leave okay. with your physical form? Okay. So is it the first one or the second one? Oops. Is it the first... Um... Did you live a natural life and die a natural death? No. No. Did you go up and were you ascended into the heavens with your form? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He came up and he had a physical form and he ascended. Okay. I think he's the only one on the planet that's I ever done so. that. That's I think incredible. it's the only are you the only one on the planet that has that has done that that has yeah. left with a physical form. That'll be an interesting one to well, see. Let it, I think it's sinking in. It's pretty that's pretty intense that. That's a, an intense question. <laughs> the only one. I mean we're like talking about the, all the of the He may be the only one. He might history. might have been the only one in history Ooh, that's if there were left. More, that'd be interesting though, wouldn't it? Well, there was the one that left the planet, but they say uh, Enoch. 
Enoch left the planet that they say maybe he left in a spaceship. That'll be an interesting one to ask, hmm. too, if Enoch left in a spaceship. Okay, so let's see about... But let's see Christ's first. The let's, only let's one see in which the body ascended. That, that you ascended and translated the, the body. It's still so heavy and it's wanting to lay there a bit. Whoops. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of heaviness to it. We'll see a what happens on this. Wait to it. Yeah, because that's a deep question. That's <laughs> uh, deep. not one that usually comes up. Not too many people are <laughs> leaving the planet in their physical form. Okay, so let's see if we get anything. Is this true? Is this that you're the this particular incident is the only one ever that's happened? Yes. Hmm, the only one that's ever happened. Happened this way. We're seeing a yes. Mm. That. Okay, let's ask about Enoch. Can you answer a thing about Enoch? Hmm. Saying no. No? Mm -hmm. He can't answer about Enoch. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. You would think he would be able to answer that. Okay. Huh? Could there ever be another person that left the body just translates? That left the body? No, that could. Oh, could. Could. Could, 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 could that happen? Could that, could happen? that happen again? Could that happen again, that somebody just translates, yeah. just leaves? Could this ever happen again, this, um, this happening? <laughs> could it ever come again? Of somebody leaving oh. with the physical form? Well, we're getting a no. It's not something that just may occur again. Okay. That's what it's saying. Yeah. Interesting. Boy, that's quite a thing then. Yeah. He's that's the only one that that it's happened with. Does he still have a body and stuff? <laughs> How does that work? I don't know. Okay. It's so mysterious. Could you could ask it? I I think it probably transformed into rarefied when he left. It was probably already rarefied, pretty be. much. It had to be. Okay, we're we're okay. Let's ask this: Were you walking around and people were seeing an absolute physical form, but you were more already in a rarefied body? Before the crucifixion, yeah, or after. Well, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Either doesn't one. Doesn't matter. It's you not know. like anything changed. He's always was that way. Yeah, he's always <laughs> been know? that way. So, is this true that it was? Even though they were seeing a physical body, it was really more of a rarefied form of yeah, light a rarefied or, form. Yeah, uh, whatever you want to call it, it had something. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't what you saw it to be, right? At all. So was it different than other, you know, most obviously, most that were there? Even though if they were feeling purified or very rich in spirit, was this a different thing? Yes, his was uh, remarkable. His was not one that. Okay, can be I want to dispel something. There were those that have said that he was a hologram. So I want to dispel that. A hologram? Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Is this true that you are a hologram type of presentation? No. No, so I just want to dispel that. You know, there were those that came that were supposed to be of alien intelligence, you know, and, and these, are, I don't talk a lot about this, but I had, um, these one entities that wanted to try to convince me that he was a hologram and this and that. And, uh, you know, ask if that's true, if I've had these experiences that I'm talking about, you know, where I've run into this alien energy and they try to pull me into that darkness to, to uh, skew these teachings, you know, but that's not happening, okay? Yeah, there is a yes there. Yeah, yeah. I've been through some very, very odd experiences. You, you go through of, odd experiences. Of, uh, I have gone through some journey. very odd. Yeah, we all yeah, do. yeah. Of these dark energies that yeah. wanted to try to skew the teachings of Christ and skew these. And I, I just went, you know, no, we're not, you know. And uh, they had gotten actually calls to get me out of that house because they could have wound up uh, um, dying. Mm -hmm because I would confront their energies anyway. It's another thing entirely. We're not going to get into all of that. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other deal. That's a whole other, you don't even want to know about that. Uh, 
But yeah, no, I've been through a ringer with this stuff. Oh so, you know, if people are going to get to realization, do they basically, like I have tried to tell people, they have to basically walk the path of Christ and face the things that he was showing in his lifetime uh, when he was on the planet. Is this true? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's not an easy path. If you want to know God and you want to surrender, you have to basically walk the path. He was here to show the way forward. And you have to face the temptations. You have to face like the scourging. You have to surrender yourself. Okay? It's not a joke. You know, it's a very difficult path. Okay? Again, one has to walk that path by themselves. It's not going to happen by a planetary shift. All of a sudden, everybody's going to become enlightened because there are a number of enlightened people on the planet. It doesn't work that way. Each consciousness has to go towards that God energy on their own, walk that path alone, and put those sacrifices in place. It's the only way to do it. Okay? So let's, uh, okay, I know what I wanted to ask. Is there a heavier karma in place for those that set themselves up as teachers, which are conning people and doing those, those things that are erroneously yeah. saying they are teachers? Yeah. Is the karmic load for them much heavier? Okay, so it does get very heavy and, you know, it drops down. So it's just showing that that, the weight or that karmic load will be a lot heavier. Yeah, they'll them. be in a hell realm yeah. for a lot of years. They will be in an absolute hell good. realm it's for a lot thing of years. To do. Okay, they may think they're all that <laughs> and sit themselves up. And was this not the fall? This is what I want to. Was this not the fall of Satan that became into ego, rather than giving that glory to God, rather than focusing in God, he focused on himself his achievements, his wants, his desires, and so then at that point he became Satan. Okay, so there's a heavy yes to it. It's heavy and it's just, uh, you know, you can see this. This is what happened. in. Yeah, his... you become very skewed. Your yeah, energy so. is all over the map. Yeah. You know, nothing was created evil. Ask if that. Was anything ever created evil? Okay, no. No. And so-called evil is when one goes into that mindset of I want to be separate from God, I want my own autonomy, you know. Oh, this is another one I love. I'm a co-creator with God. Right, right. <laughs> I'm a co-creator with God, okay? Does God need anybody's help to be a co-creator? <laughs> Does God need anybody's help to be a co-creator? <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> God does just fine on, on their own, you know. Is God a spirit? Is God a spirit? Is God a spirit? Okay, there is a yes. Yeah. God is spirit. God does not have a corporeal form. He's not some big dude sitting up on a throne, okay? Is God judging everybody's singular life? Not judging everyone's singular life, no. No. God is an energy. God it's is not this like that. consciousness. It's not like, it's not like they're finger. pointing. Yeah. You know, people think God is up there pointing and directing them this and right. that. No. Is God that inherent energy that karma has to be in place because of the because of the dynamic of what God is? Is that true? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's, if you go into God realization, if you go into that consciousness and that stilling, you know beyond a shadow of a fact. Can anybody ever really truly be separate from God? Good question. Can anyone ever Never. truly be separate from God? Never. No. Never. If you were separate from God, you would have no life. Yeah. You would have no life. And this is why they have the ones that go into what they call the second death. In the Bible, it will talk about the first death, and then they have those that will go into a second death eventually. 
those that have distanced themselves from God in their consciousness, and for years they may go through, see if this is true, for eons they may go through a hell realm, but eventually if they do not uh, turn around to go towards the light, they will eventually die that second death, that consciousness will be no more. Oh, right, that you've talked about before. Where It'll it be get absorbed. Degree, It'll be like absorbed. It'll almost lose. where they're unconscious. It will right. never come again in, right. in that right. way. It, that would be something that would be very, very dark and nasty and evil. Yeah, thing. they go okay. from, they go from, I, I feel like it's, they go from a hell realm into a, an absolute feeling of separation. Mm-hmm. Is that true, that they go this from maybe true. a hell realm of like-minded consciousness to eventually pulling even being into absorbed, darkness, into, into being like a singular and then being absorbed? Mm, I see what you're saying. Wow, backwards the wrong way. Yeah. Um, okay, so is this true? You're seeing it? Yes, boy. Yeah. That's heavy stuff. It's heavy stuff. They may go into a hell realm for a time and they get another mm. birth to try to change that, to try to rectify, to try to go forward. But if they don't go forward and they stay in that, yeah. eventually they will be feeling like that separation into an absolute darkness. And okay? that's it. And, in, and <laughs> then, yeah, eventually chances. they will lose that consciousness, that, that light will do totally go out. Okay, oh, that light will karma. totally go it out. It takes care of things. It, it, it does. Things. You know, like, like I said, for a while they will be in hell realms and they'll feel the pain. Ask if that's true. When you leave the form, will they feel the pain they have caused other people? Right. Good question. No, Will they one. have to endure the pain that they have caused other okay, now people? Now it's going so big. It's like making this circle. My hand feels so light. So I'll give it just a second. So we'll see what happens with it that. Just this is the most span I felt. It's like it really just wants to go around like um, this space or whatever is there is one. So if you harm that, that is all of God. Then. You have um, night. Night comes to you. Night. Yeah. Night. Like a yeah. darkness, a, a dark time. Yeah. So you're going mm -hmm. to have to feel what you've put others through. Yeah. So those ones, you know, and I hate to use the name Nichinanda or Sai Baba or any of those that have caused these conning and caused, you know, lost people's fortunes, lost their lives, they've done sexual abuse, all the things they've perpetrated on others and the pain they have caused others, they themselves will have to endure mm -hmm. as a wake-up call That's to what their true. actions have done. Because what yeah. you've done to those, you have done to yourself. And this is the That's lesson exactly they need to what see. What they, you've done to others, That's right. you have done to yourself. That's just coming in now. What you've done to others, That's you have exactly done to yourself. And so is. you get a concrete reality of that. You are going to have to face the concrete reality yeah. of that. Okay. And that's exactly what that was saying. You know, it's just, it's one. And so you're harming yourself. You're harming God in a way if you go and do this to someone else. Well, that's what Christ was trying to indicate when he said, what you have done to the least of these, you have done to me. Right. That's right. And that's the feeling of it. So that's a big thing. And then I saw an image of a knife too. So you're going to get that cutting right back. Right. That cutting is going to be there. You're going to yeah. have to endure it. So, you know, I don't take karma lightly. I know that karma is in place, you know, and no genuine realized master, guru, teacher would ever do anything to incur karma because you know what you inflict on others is going to be inflicted sure. back on yourself. Right. Yeah. And even more so, especially yeah. if you've set yourself up to be a teacher and a light to others, okay? So yeah. uh, let's see, is there anything else you can think of? Um, so, oh, you know, part of it was what would uh, Christ say about what's happening in today's times? Do right. you think we brought that out, you know, with all that's happening in the world now, the polarization, you right. know, the Right. Oh, drama. let's let's ask that. Is there, in fact, like I've said, is there a polarization happening at this present time where the those that are in darkness are skewing closer to darkness and those that are light that are moving forward more towards light is there yeah. that divisionary time happening now okay so again it's feeling heavy and it is showing this divide with this there and this there being very um accentuated now yeah very much lost sight of the middle 
now. Yeah. Um, the balance in it all. Okay, this is, like you see big yes. Um, yeah. The whole feeling of it is that way, you know, is that souls have lost the, the, the center of it. Right. And they're just diverged diverting themselves to one or the other in which this balance is gone right and, and that's why uh, i keep saying grounding balance you need to balance you need to ground and this is why i've gone more you know into trying to teach more of the native american to get people more grounded because they're in this airy fairy ideations and uh yeah Oh, let's ask him if there's harm in eating meat. Oh, good question. These are we all things we're going to dispel this some is, of these, these things. things. Is it a spiritual thing? Yeah. Is it a spirit? Are you not spiritual, first of all, if you eat meat? Okay, this is incorrect. Right. This is incorrect. Everything, is because is everything is eternal in nature. Okay, everything is eternal in nature. You leave this body, you haven't, you know, they haven't died, they go on to whatever the next thing that they're doing. But that's just, unfortunately, that's the way this planet is. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to have that to stay grounded. Why it's like that, I don't know, but it's simply the way it is here. Yeah. I wanted to ask too, while I said, well, there were two things. One was, um, are there any messages for the planet now? That you know, would be a good one. Do you have anything? Yeah. Do you, okay, Christ, do you have anything? This is your platform. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. The other please, one. Please, <laughs> please, please help you, us with that. Please, if you have anything to say, please, please, please bring it forward. And if there's anything I need to know as a teacher that I'm not doing that I would be good to be doing, I would appreciate if that would come forward. Yeah, let's you see know. What and uh, am, am I. Uh, giving the most and the best light that I can give. Okay. Well, so we'll see we'll go those with that few. in a minute. But yeah. also the other one was, you know, since I, a lot of, af, you know, we've worked with the afterlife mm -hmm. and I have some afterlife readings, you've done them. And sometimes people say, I don't believe in that stuff or they just go to heaven, you know, so they, that reincarnation doesn't exist. Right. And so they just, you know, forget it. This is wrong. And that they feel like Christianity or that kind of thing it speaks about heaven only. And, well, it know, doesn't. There was some mentions in the Bible that point towards reincarnation. But yeah, ask them directly ask if there's reincarnation. a reincarnation. Is okay. reincarnation a fact? Is this a fact? Okay, this is the question. Okay, right away there's a yes. This is a fact of energy. This is a yeah. fact of spirit transformation. Because people get a chance to move forward. They right. get a chance to rectify. They get a chance to, again, go through the same lessons that they need to learn, that That's they want it. to try to improve on. So, but then this heaven and hell thing, or heaven, or I'm here, and then heaven. So, you know. Well, okay, um, well, they have that for a time, but it's not eternally there they spend time in either one of the realms either it's a hell realm or more perceived as a heaven realm until they get drawn back into right. physical well, body well that's the thing so there is still movement i mean if the mind yeah. is in place and they talk about heaven i mean is is heaven what is what is that about is that something um so there is a heaven yeah. um which i never thought there wasn't i i'm just you know, putting this out there because people get themselves twisted around like there's only one thing yeah. you know that's i'm not saying i never negated heaven i'm just you know was wondering uh, about that when people uh, have that so that's the reality and they do join their loved ones you know i'm putting this out that people don't sometimes really first of all they think that's all there is and then other right. times they think that's not true right. so this is just something to put out and it's a, got a very heavy strong feeling and then it shifts okay so and it's just speaking to also there's movement in this uh journey forward you know there'll be movement in journeys forward always so you know there's sometimes space or where there's this heaven feeling and heaven reality and yet onward um there is an outer time then where there's movement in a journey that takes place right they'll be pulled back into a form when they're ready to go forward into their next lesson, into their next uh, expansion or whatever right, it is like they're the doing. Or, exactly. You know, all of these it's things. It's the same thing like Hinduism and locus. You yeah. stay there until you uh, until you exhaust that good karma, whatever. Yeah. As they say, you exhaust the good karma. Okay. But when, when you're ready to go forward, it's like a breather. 
For them, it's a breather. And for those that are going to hell realms, it's a wake up call. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we'll you've got put it the that way. Depending again on, and I see plus negative karma right. in you. Karma right. In you. Right. So plus let's negative. go ahead and ask the other questions the about if he out. has, you know, what message he has. Sure. Okay, so we're going to go with messages. Okay. Messages for the planet to, that today. You know what? What can come there? Okay, so again, we're seeing a cross happening here around him, and I see a light coming up from the cross, a white, very um, cross with, again, the energy is rising from it. So, um, okay, so messages, so speak with, um, when you speak, you don't speak uh, little words don't speak such little words um, that's we see that's here that so many do speak with mind uh, more heart centered you know yeah. um, because what it does is speaking that with these small words that there's um, breaking a part of connections there's breaking. yeah don't be so small minded yeah don't be so small minded, you know, yeah. expand, talk in more expansion, uh, yeah. connection, connectedness. Right. And feel okay. that. Okay. So, um, okay, so there's one, and uh, mine needs to be um, balanced. Um, mine needs to be balanced and listening to God. Okay, yeah. listen to God, don't listen like other voice. Listen God, which is um, which is heart of love. Okay, heart of yeah. love, heart of um, heart of not worry about what other people judge you, <laughs> you know, and all yeah. that that people get into. Okay, so listen more to that to spirit. Yeah. So listen to spirit. Listen to higher things rather than get into self negation, self, you know, uh, self doubt, self, all of those things that you do to um, again, you know, it's like I said, the trolls. The trolls like to put a seed yeah. of doubt there that grows and and stifles you and stifles everything. You know, to make you feel bad about yourself, to make you feel bad about these things. So negate that. Don't don't go there. Don't don't get involved in that. Okay. Yeah, and you know, this is speaking a lot to what's happening now. Like people get on the net, the computer. So this is a lot of what is happening behind the scenes, mm -hmm. all over the place. Right. And as small as it may seem, it's adding to the mess we have now. You know, exactly. it may seem small, but it really it isn't. It isn't small at all. Okay, so um, yeah, don't buy into these dark energies and these conspiracy theories and all this other drama. Right, right. Okay, let's see what else comes. Okay, so vision. Okay, so the pendulum is going around his eyes. Like mm -hmm. vision needs to see differently than what people see. They see. They see man, woman, they see things that are different. They judge, they preach, they want their own way, okay? So this vision and the way they're they yeah. seeing your perceptive. To, to so you're perceptive. You need to change your perceptions. And that's coming up in the cards a lot. Mm, okay. uh, ask if the uh, things that I'm giving daily is uh, beneficial to people, the daily readings that I'm giving. Yeah, there's a nice heavy weight to it. Very yeah. nice. Very so helpful. that's been coming up a lot more. Watch your perception, the way you view things, you know, uh, again, and stay grounded, stay grounded and become more spacious. Open your world, totally, open totally. your your senses, you know, again, uh, so that you can progress. And that's the way you, you have a lot of those style messages, which are, I think, very much in alignment with this. They're very much in alignment with, with the teachings of Christ, even though I'm using Native American cards. They still are very much in alignment with what he was trying to speak of and bring to the world. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how it could be so <laughs> let's ask if there's anything that he wants to uh, impart to me that I need to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that I need to change that uh, would... Uh, 
yeah would benefit yeah I should, should I be afraid? Because <laughs> no. you never know what's coming back, you know? Ganga. Ganga. Uh oh. Ganga. I put myself in the fire on this one. <laughs> Ganga should. Oh, interesting. Uh oh. Ganga needs. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Hey, Ganga needs her time to be. Sweeter, I guess. Need my time to be sweeter. Maybe I'm a little harsh on some people. Um, okay. Is, let's see if this is what that means. Okay, it has some of that, and yet, is that all of it? I think part of it is whatever, you know, maybe some. Okay, does this mean about experience for Conga? Like to have a sweeter time of experience for you? You know what I mean? Um, for your own for my own thing that yeah. I need to take a little more time for myself Maybe and like a little a sweeter let's see if that would it is that what it you mean to we'll find I think out they're a little bit of both it could be both, <laughs> it could be both. <laughs> is it a little bit of both okay yes it's a little bit of both. a little of both for time okay. to be sweeter that's interesting yeah do I need to stop being so hard on like Nietzsche Nanda and talking mm, about the question. trolls and the things that they're doing good question Okay, so we've got a small no. We've got a no that that's um, that is good in many ways to show light on you know what's happening in that realm. Um, is this benefiting things? Okay, so let's see. It does, but I guess the feeling is uh, is this hard on Ganga though? Is it hard on her a bit? Okay, it is a bit. Not, you know, it's pretty light though. It's pretty light, and again, stilling. It's yeah, still, and in so. that stillness, so it just goes right through. Right, it's, so it's, it's not a big thing. It's saying that's fine, really. I um, think I just need to take a little more time for myself, and maybe I need to put forward. Do I need to put forward a little more of uh, Satsang's teachings on uh, lighter subjects? Do I need to good question. put that into place? We're dousing in this energy. Okay. <laughs> Taking it dip. Soaking it up. <laughs> so, so you dip in and you come out and you get the answer. That's how that works. Okay. Anyway. So, it works that way for you. It doesn't work that way for me. If I did this, all you're going to see is a pendulum going. I don't get any of that connection in that way. I don't know why it's here. It's your fault. She named me Siddhananda. and I told her that. So... Um, it doesn't work for me that way. It works for me. Uh, well, finish this and then we'll go on to the next thing. Yeah. Okay, so Let's anyway, uh, lighter <laughs> subjects for Ganga. Would this be nice? Okay, just say yes. Some lighter yeah, so maybe I need nice. to, to shift and do a little more satsangs again. This is true. I haven't been saying. doing I haven't been doing them for a while because I've put so many years. I've done how many years? It's I mean, Christ, no to hold on because yeah. it's saying no to. I mean, it's not. I mean, Christ was only here for three years. I've been doing this for 19 years. Yeah, it's <laughs> not know. easy. Okay, so it's saying no to with the lighter subjects. So it's not necessarily saying satsang. I think it's just, you know, let's see, this tarot is a bit lighter. Is this a lighter thing for Ganga? Okay, so that is. That's been lighter, and I think it's reached a lot of. At least the feeling is people that are not so inclined towards a real hard re yeah. renunciate path. I yeah, mean, is it beneficial to do the tarot? Is it? Yeah. Are the readings coming coming out? Are they? Um, the are they? Are they pretty accurate? Is it? Is it a beneficial thing to do, or is it better not to do tarot at all? Okay, so has the tarot been pretty accurate? Good thing to put out to humanity. Okay, so it's yes. So it's yes and no. It's yes and it's got a little something and I don't know what that's about, you know. A little something else in there too. Okay, it's got a little something else in there too. That's all I can do. So is let's show you. let's uh so what is the part that's not beneficial? Can you give us a little thing a, a part of the tarot that's not beneficial? Yeah. Let's see if we get an answer on I that. To always pinpoint the exactness of it. I don't know if that had to do with accuracy. I don't know. You know, some things change though. So let's face it: if you like doing a tornado or something, it can change. You can't always well, yeah, everything exactly things, the same. Yeah, you know is I mean? it is it that? Um, and this is something I say. So let's check the accuracy of this. 
that you cannot depend everything on the cards because everything in the universe is in flux well, and people it. have people have free will you can change your direction at any time is that part of it that because people have free will they can change their direction at any time okay so this is saying yes that is yeah. true Life yeah does, at, does tarot have anything to do with dark arts okay good question does it come from the dark no no. no, and again, though, you know, a lot of it has to do with mindset too, though. You is know, it just a, is it, it is it way. just a connecting point here that In for terms me of how you use for it. me it's a connecting point, and then I will get like um, what do you want to say like flashes of insight? Something will come, you know. It's a point of connection. Okay, so let's see. It's a point of connection. And for here, then I get flashes of insight. Not that it's seen; it's just that something that just comes yes. into the, the consciousness. Into yes. the consciousness. Yeah. Is it that sometimes <clears throat> that the uh, that the cards will not connect with an energy? Is there sometimes that there's just some readings that don't do because it doesn't connect? It's not connected. Yeah, it is showing a yes. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah, sometimes it just for some reason you're not connecting with that energy, you know. Yeah. So that happens too. But yeah, it's not out of darkness. It's not witchcraft. It's not that. Well, that's what I wanted to ask um, about the pendulum reading that I do because I get that a lot too. It's satanic. Exactly. You so know, that, and it and it was true. in the Old Testament. Did they did the priests not wear these things that they used? And part of it they used for divination. Okay, say that again. That the priests in the Old Testament, yeah. the ones that would go into the Holy of Holies, mm -hmm. they would, and, and when they go into the Holy of Holies, they would tie a rope around their ankle. Mm -hmm. So if they did something wrong and they dropped dead in there, mm -hmm. <laughs> they could get them out. Yeah. Because you couldn't just walk in there. It's, it's the same thing, you know, when you go into that death before death. It is like a death, and you know, you can't enter that holy of a space without losing that identification as a meism. okay? Mm -hmm. We'll just put it that way. Okay, so did the, in fact, the priests mm -hmm. at that time, they wore something, and they call what, a uman and thurman or something like that? Mm -hmm. Did they use the, and they said they would use it for a divination to ask of questions and get an answer oh, back. Oh, I see what you're asking. Yeah. So is this part of what took place in, in it? Uh, yes. 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 That they would bypass the rational mind to consciousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It bypasses, ask if that's true. It bypasses the rational mind of identifications and into uh, more direct right. consciousness. And that's always what I try to, you know, explain about this energy, the connection and everything too, you know. With yeah, because a readings. lot of times, you know, the cards or the pendulum or whatever will come up with readings that really well, will it. surprise. That's it's it. like that one, the psychic Dave, that he was doing the one on oh, Kavanaugh. He was so surprised because he's like, oh, immediately he's a shoe in but then he... That's the thing, you don't But he know. says he channels the man from the moon. That's so hysterical. Yeah. But he... You know, again, whatever he's channeling, uh, again said, no, Kavanaugh is not going to get in. And he was absolutely yeah. surprised. So sometimes it's surprising here. For sure. For sure. You know, when That's everything something. first fell away from me in realization, and I would get up to do satsang, I don't have something pre planned. It just comes into the consciousness and you speak. And sometimes it was surprising to me what would come forward. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because I never know exactly what was going to come forward. Now, through the years, that has not become so uh, feeling of remarkable. It's just your normal daily thing at that point. Um, so it's, uh, but yeah, in the beginning, you, you don't know what's going to come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how it will come out, how strong, how exactly, light, how whatever. It just is. It just happens that way. It just happens that way. Okay. One yeah. goes out of the rational thinking mind and goes into this direct consciousness connecting. I guess you could say you, you uh, connect in with the universal 
right. consciousness and it just comes forward that's yeah. all it's a natural thing that happens so yeah yeah so let's ask if there's anything else mm -hmm. that he would like to bring forward either in guidance or direction or admonishment <laughs> oh for you still or we well still for on any you, for any oh. for myself or anyone or humanity in general whatever you know because spirit is not going to give you something that you don't ask for mm -hmm. okay if you want to stay ignorant they're not going to force you to see it Okay, you can stay in ignorance, okay? So this is why I'm asking, mm -hmm. you know, to allow it to bring forward because you have free will, okay? So if you wanna know, you have to ask and then be prepared for what comes back because it might not be what you want to hear. If you don't wanna hear it, don't ask the question, <laughs> okay? If you're not prepared to hear it because you might get something very strong back that you don't wanna hear. That happens. <laughs> okay, so um, okay, so it's you know it's just more the feeling of be still, be quiet, and mm -hmm. don't waste time on other endeavors besides that. I mean, it's like you know, come back to balance. It's kind of um, like the same thing that I'm trying to teach people. You know, if you want to know God, you got to put in the effort twenty four seven. You know, the path of the mystic is not easy, okay? And nobody can do it for you. You have to be willing to put yourself through the trenches and go through all those difficult times in order to progress, okay? That's just the way it is. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Oh, let's ask. There's one other thing I wanted to ask. Can one get to realization without having Kundalini awakening? And let's ask about Kundalini. Yeah, I do want to ask a that little bit about... That would be a good one, too. A quick one about the pendulum readings I do. Yeah, go, go ahead on. and do that. So mm. are the pendulum readings that I do, are those beneficial? Okay, so one can see it, yes. And um, do they, um, I guess all I can say is have some accuracy to them. Okay, so there is a yes, that they're more spirit-based is what is felt. Is this satanic working with the pendulum like this? No, it's not satanic. Um, so is it making up stories what comes with this? No, it's not making up stories. Okay, because I just get that okay. so much. And the other one I wanted to ask about is when we were doing working with the other side. Right. When I ask you know, if they bow to the light of truth, right. if that is accurate, that, that, uh, that the uh, negative dark forces will not bow to the light of truth. Right, good one. Is that a good one? So it's saying this is true, that won't happen. Yeah, they won't bow to the light of truth. Right. You know, and so that is an immediate thing when I'm working with other side and they come in and they try to want to present as a light. Because again, Satan presents as a angel of light. That darkness will try to pass it off as an angel of light, but they will not bow to the light of truth. And that's when they scram. <laughs> and, well, when, and when I do a mantra at that point, then they will scram. Yeah, is the times. mantras I'm doing effective on that point to... Uh, Break to, down to, that to, type of yeah. energy. So there's a nice big yes to that. It's yeah. very substantial. Yeah. Because yeah. if you have the right mantra and you know what it, that energy is... Oh, and this is the other thing I wanted to ask with it, is because... You know, when I teach Hinduism, when I teach these paths, are the gods, like we have Kali, we have Durga, we have Shiva, we have Krishna, are these basically states of energy, concentrated mm -hmm. energy forms? Okay, so yes. Yes. Okay. They're not physical beings. They are states of awareness, consciousness of energy form, concentrated energy forms. Okay. They are concentrated energy forms. Yeah. 
We covered a lot of ground today. Boy, <laughs> I'm glad you were here to have all those questions. I would never have. So, um, yeah, there was something else I was going to ask, but now it's kind of it's gone. I know it's so in easy the to ozone. Have that happen. I think you know one of them though was um, with that same question was in terms of where, you know, and they always want to go into the um, humanity is what is where is it spiritual consciousness at now overall I think is what people want to you know wanted to know and will that get better we did cover that yeah. that you have to take your own you know efforts. yeah we covered that everything is polarizing now yeah okay it's polarizing and you've got to do the work there is no you know immediate yeah. you know oh, there's 10 enlightened people on the planet that's going to pull everybody into enlightenment that's not true that's not going to happen Okay, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, but then overall, you know, to just put up like the, in terms of where a lot of my, you know mindsets are now, you can you really do feel a, a coming down low in many yeah, ways. Yeah, they're they yeah the darkness you know, is coming yeah. more pronounced, and they are feeding on that. Mm -hmm. Let's ask: Are there many enlightened people on the planet? Oh, good question. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are there many? Are there more than a few? <laughs> Okay, are there many? I mean, I would like to find a few more with a good, <laughs> nice. good thing. <laughs> okay, do you have the address of that cave up in the Himalayas? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down, put it as a contact in your, in your phone. Okay, so are there no? Not many. Because it's difficult. No. Nope. It's difficult. Does it take that ultimate sacrifice of death before death? Does it take that ultimate sacrifice? It does, and see that's the that's oh, the that's rarity the other thing of it. We're going to ask about Kundalini. Oh, right, we almost forgot yeah. about that. Didn't what we? in fact is the Kundalini? You know, so many people think it's satanic. They think it's dark. They think it's demonic. And this is what we get from a lot of the so-called Christian churches. You know that it's dark. Yeah. It's demonic. What in fact is Kundalini, and why is this needed to progress? Yes. Good one. Okay, so Kundalini, is it a dark satanic energy? No. Holy, holy, holy spirit, holy, holy energy. Yeah, it is, and you were right the first time, like a holy, it's like the Holy Spirit. Holy the, the, spirit. When the Holy Spirit went through the congregation and they had the lights, remember the tongues of flames above the head? Yeah. yeah it's it like Kundalini. Spirit. It's like, it is kundalini what they call kundalini it is the awakening of that holy spirit mm. does kundalini the holy spirit in fact go in to challenge everything you thought you knew to be true does it go in and brings up all those fears to be challenged okay, so all that stuff big. so it just says collected and gathered what is mm -hmm. in there is to become up to be revealed exactly yeah, i say it's like roto rooter yeah Whatever you've had in your consciousness for lifetimes, it is going to bring it up in your face to be encountered, to be challenged, to be walked through, to be dispelled, okay? So it's a very difficult process, okay? For sure. And so let's, but just to be clear too, let's ask, is Kundalini prerequisite to yeah. enlightenment? Because people always, they think they, they can bypass that, is it? Is it prerequisite? You can see, yes. You know, otherwise that consciousness or the mindset it stays so solid. Exactly. Feeling, and it stays so kind of locked in the body mind connection thing. It just it needs to break apart. Exactly. And, you know, start exactly. Moving. Well, it's got like that one in the, and this just came up in the consciousness. It's like in the Old Testament when they're out in the desert. And the guy holds up this rod with the snake on it, and it's, it's the, with a snake wrapped around it. And it says, you know, you have to be bit by that mm -hmm. in order to, you know, rectify what's there. It's kind of mm -hmm. like that homeopathic thing where they give you the thing. But it's like yeah. that. It's like that. You have to. Thing. You have to face that. You yeah. have to go through that. And you have to go through the fires of transformation, okay? So it's it's like that. It's like where they get the caduceus. Mm -hmm. They have the ones that are going up that, that are healing in the end, although it's like poison to go through it. It's not fun, okay? It's like poison to go yeah. through it. But it says about that in the Old Testament, 
again, that they're out in the desert and he holds up the rod mm -hmm. and it's got the, the serpent on it, poisonous serpent. Mm -hmm. And one has to basically be bit by that and transcend that, go through yeah. that to see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. yeah. I mean, these things are there in the, the Bible if you know where to look, if you understand what's being spoken of. Okay, but people take things so out of context, they don't get what's being said. Are all these mysteries contained in, in the Bible? All the mysteries. Well, are those okay. mysteries all contained and spoken of? Okay, so yes, they are. Yeah. A pretty big yes. A very big yes. They're there if you know where to look, but there's a lot of other drama. Is there not also another that's drama the where they well, tried to skew it, where well, they tried a, to skew that's things? That's with the positive and negative that we're yeah, coming exactly. back to that. There is. And it's like it smaller, even in the Old Testament, too, where they're stoning people and yeah. they're doing that. Those are ideations of men's mistaken uh, uh, dogmatic drama, okay? Uh, but there is truth in there, and then again, there's the fallacy of dogmatic stuff where men wanted to change that pure teaching into something that they could uh, mm -hmm. they could uh, manage, relegate, they could um, use for their own uh, their own purposes. Right, own gratification. Okay. And yeah, and this <coughs> is why so many talk about fear. They rule in fear. They keep bringing up these ideations of fear, you know, to rule people. And that's why Christ said, fear not, you know, life is eternal, fear not. You know, darkness is not going to win over light. You know, if you stand in the light and you stay in that centeredness, the worst they can do is take away your physical form. It's all they can do, okay? They can take away your physical form, but life is eternal, okay? They can't do anything to degrade that consciousness if you stand in that truth and that light, okay? You're gonna face a lot of difficulties when you're standing in that and you're confronting darkness, you're confronting these illusions. You, you're gonna pay the price. You gotta, you know, you gotta be willing to walk through that, okay? Yeah. Anything else to end with? I think uh, we well, we'll, we leave, we'll leave we'll leave it ground. we'll leave it up to uh, if if uh, Yeshua Ben Joseph has something else that he wants to impart, and you know while we <laughs> while we have that so, energy, here. yes, as long as we have that energy here, let's let's find out if he's anything else that he wants to put out there to anyone. Okay, I'm just hearing spirit follow. Okay, spirit find, spirit find um, all as equal, as same. Spirit, you know, find all as e uh, same, same in heart. Okay. Yeah. Everyone comes from the same generating spirit. Okay, we all start out on a level playing field. Some are not created better and some lesser. We all start out in the same playing field. We all have the same amount of consciousness and life within us, okay? So that's it. it. I think that I think we covered a lot of ground. So I think we covered good. a lot of ground for the time we've been on, and uh, yeah, well, I mean, oh Lord knows what kind of comments oh we'll boy. get back from this, hey. but we'll we'll leave this at this. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope that well, this has been a good day to do this on uh, September 11th. Yeah, it's I a good day so to too. good I day to so do too. this. So have a good one. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Aho! See you online. <laughs> See you later.